when is the best time to register my trademark? Somebody asked me that yesterday, so I'm gonna answer it today. I'm Angela Langlotz, trademark and copyright attorney, and I go live here on weekdays to talk trademarks and copyrights. So when should you apply to register your trademark? Well, the safest thing to do, even though it's a little bit more expensive, is to register apply to register rather, apply to register your trademark as soon as you decide on a brand. And you can do this because we have an application filing basis called intent to use. So what can happen? Sometimes you think of a really great brand, but you haven't started your business yet. And you say to yourself, okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start the business. And if I have a little bit of success, then I'll register the trademark. And sometimes this works out, but sometimes it doesn't. And I've had a couple of clients lately be caught in this where it doesn't work out so well. So what has happened is they started promoting their goods and services using a certain brand. And then once they had some money and they were doing pretty well with the business, they went in to attempt to register the trademark. Well, what happened? <laughs> Somebody else, got there first. Somebody else registered either the same mark for the same or similar goods or a similar mark for the same or similar goods. Either one of those situations means that now my client is stuck in the unenviable position of having to prove that they were the first user of the mark. And if the other people filed first, you know, that can be kind of a hard thing for somebody who's already using the mark. So let's say that somebody files based on an intent to use, they haven't started using it yet. And then sometime after that, my client starts using the trademark, but they haven't applied for it yet. They just started using it. And then, you know, six to eight months later, they say, great, Angela, I'm ready to file now. Well, I go in and look and I find this other trademark application that has been filed before they began use. And I have to give them the bad news. I'm sorry, you're going to have to pick another mark because these people applied to register the trademark before you started using it. So in that situation, my client would be stuck either having to somehow buy out <laughs> the other applicant or wait and see if they actually start using it or not, or they can you know, choose another mark. And none of these things are very satisfactory because it costs money to rebrand, right? So it's a very bad situation for a, a trademark applicant or a trademark user to be in. So we do, as I mentioned, have two ways to apply for a trademark. You can apply based on your actual use of the mark in commerce, or you can apply based on your intent to use the mark in commerce. And applying based on your intent to use the mark at some point in the future, we call it a bona fide intent to use the mark in the future, um, that is a good insurance policy. Yes, it costs a little bit more because there are additional fees that we have to pay later when we actually begin use. But it's sort of an insurance policy. It allows you time to develop the brand and not worry that someone is going to file a competing application and beat you to the punch, so to speak. So whenever possible, I encourage people who are starting to use a trademark or have ideas about a business and they're really gonna follow through on those ideas, go ahead and apply to register your trademark even before you start to use it because it can help you avoid that horrible situation where you either have to fight over the trademark, which is expensive, or rebrand, which is expensive. So if you don't wanna do that, then go ahead and file based on an intent to use the mark in commerce and buy yourself a little bit of trademark insurance. I'm Angela Langlotz. If you have trademark questions, drop them in the comments below. I will answer them on a future live video. You can find me online at trademarkdoctor.net. You can also find me on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash trademarkdoctor. I have a huge video library on YouTube. Just go to YouTube and search trademarkdoctor.